I'm doing a short tour of the open source voxel image editor called Goxel. I got a question from Super Bibblebro who asked if I could cover rendering. I don't actually do that much rendering. I'm just using this to make blueprints for a video game. But for the sake of Super Bibblebro, here we go. We've got our inbuilt renderer. And this is the most direct and my least favorite way to go about doing the rendering, but you can just pop up the renderer, it gives you the option to change the size of your output image. You can do a fit screen, which will shrink it significantly, and you can change the actual file that this is going to be output to. The catch is when you hit render, it slows everything down, and as you'll see, it doesn't really look the same way as it did in the editor. And so you get this weird gray background and the lighting here is just I don't know what's going on with that but it just doesn't look the same and as far as I know there isn't a good way to change it so I don't particularly care for the inbuilt renderer what I usually prefer to do if I need an actual image is to go here and just export it as a PNG PNG is a pretty standard web format it's lossless and when you export it what you'll get looks basically the same as what you see in here with the exception of the fact that all this gray stuff and these little planes where you're normally using to actually see how you're editing the image are just made transparent so that there's nothing there and what you get is basically what you see right here and that's really handy if you were a very serious 3D artist and wanted to use this tool with a more serious renderer, it does have a lot of other options for putting output. I know that OBJ and PLY files can be edited it can be edited in Blender 3D. I know Pavre is an older but relatively powerful 3D renderer and these other formats I'm sure have their own uses and depending on what tool you're using you'd be familiar with what formats you need in order to actually do your own rendering. But for my purposes, what I prefer to do is just export this thing as a PNG, which I think is the most direct and simple way to get exactly what you see on the screen.